the drugs were there. I did not put the narcotics there. First up, we head to Jackson County, Florida for the trial of Zachary Wester. The former sheriff's deputy was charged with 67 counts of racketeering, fabricating evidence, false imprisonment, and possession of controlled substances. Wester's accused of planting drugs in a dozen vehicles during random traffic stops. It appears to be an illegal narcotic. Do you know anything about that? I do not. All of the drivers denied owning the drugs, but yet most were subsequently arrested. Yeah, right to remain silent. The arrest caused suspicion internally, and in 2018, Wester was suspended. Three years later, the case went to trial. He pleaded not guilty to all charges. This is a case about an abuse of an incredible power, about the abuse of the incredible trust that we all put, and we have to put, in law enforcement in a society. The prosecution relied on the defendant's own body cam footage to help argue their case. Stephen Van, a convicted felon, had recently gotten out of jail when Wester supposedly found methamphetamine in his car. Have you ever seen this before? No. No, what is that? Um, I'm just trying to figure out how that stuff got in your car. You gonna go to jail today for possession of methamphetamine, okay? Oh, man, dude, I'm serious, dude. Anything, what you want me to do, man? Like the other drivers who testified, Van gave the officer permission to search his car because he claims he had nothing to hide. And I knew, I knew my truck was clean. I knew it was. While the jury got to watch most of the traffic stops, some recordings had mysteriously disappeared. Why in the world would that have been deleted? I wish I knew that answer. Ironically, body cam footage would become the strongest element in the prosecution's case especially when it came to Teresa Odom. Hi, how are you? I'm good. At first, the officer's polite, even playful. Anything that they're going to be concerned about, bombs, hand grenades, Drugs. rocket launchers. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. While Odom stands behind the vehicle, Wester begins his search. Notice as he prepares to put his gloves on, there's a small item in his left hand. Prosecutors argue that Wester is palming a small bag of meth, which he claims to find next to a spoon in the vehicle. It's Odom. It is yogurt, sir. I know. OK. It's how, yogurt. How about it's, this, sir? That is not mine. No, sir. OK. Now the white small plastic baggie that was in that spoon that the deputy just showed you on this video. Had you ever seen that before? No, sir. Was that in your car? No, sir. As far as motive, the prosecution claims the 28-year-old officer was ambitious and wanted to move to narcotics as quickly as possible. Wester testified he never planted any drugs. The drugs were there. I did not put the narcotics there. And after five days and several witnesses, the jury was asked to render a verdict. If Wester's found guilty on all charges, he could spend the rest of his life behind bars. After seven hours, the jury returns with its verdict. In the state of Florida versus Zachary Tyler Wester, we the jury find as follows as to the counts charged and the information. Count one, guilty of racketeering as charged. The clerk went on to read the verdicts on all 67 charges. Count seven, guilty of official misconduct as charged. In total, the crooked officer was found guilty on 19 charges. Count nine, guilty of official misconduct as charged. Count 10, guilty of official misconduct as charged. Including misconduct in the arrests of Van and Teresa Odom. 11 of the 12 drivers filed civil lawsuits against Wester. In July 2021, he was sentenced to 12 and a half years in a state prison. Thanks for being a fan of CourtCam. Subscribe to AE to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.